Hello, my name is Dag. I'm Mark. We're here to talk to you today about Ingress. It is, it is uh, more than just a language. Uh, so yes, uh, we're uh, going to be talking about how uh, Google Glass was originally invented and some of the data that you use. So this is, this is going to be kind of, uh, I know a lot of this might be, uh, does anyone play Ingress? Game, Android game? Okay. So, uh, how many of you are familiar for the reason why Ingress actually started? Why is the thing? Okay, so the reason it started is actually because of Google Glass. Uh, that they wanted to find particular places, this is mostly for people that are played before, they wanted to find places that were points of interest that, uh, that well, like, okay, say you have a statue or say that you have a piece of art or an installation or something like that. They want people to come there and gather there. And so people basically make anchor points for a uh, somewhere that's a geocache location that you can go and uh, you can go and like that'll be registered. So they wanted something where people could take pictures of it and they could have sort of a database of memorable locations. Um, so uh, Mara is going to tell us about Smurfs and uh, what the blue team means, and what the blue team and the green team are. So the, uh, who's on team, who's on team Smurf? Any folks? All right, yeah, yeah, so uh, that was kind of an inside joke. That was a S, it's actually like a backronym uh, for S-M-U-R-F. <laughs> Have you said anything? <laughs> I don't think that that's ever been discussed in such a way. <laughs> okay, excellent. Um, so yeah, uh, there. <laughs> could you could you please <laughs> could you please tell us a little bit more about what uh, what those letters actually stand for? <laughs> Come on, he's at Mars. Mars a little, uh, a little shy. Yeah, he can't do it. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to take over this part, I guess. <laughs> okay, so Dagmar is actually in traffic right now. <laughs> he's gonna be 15 minutes late. So Dagmar is a very. Um, He's a very paranoid individual. Uh, he is easily perturbed, and he's apparently driving here like a madman. And we were sent here to, to kill time before the Ingress talk actually starts. So we will be. We don't know anything about Ingress. We never played the game. <laughs> <laughs> we were. We were. They, Johnny X came to us and was like, "Stop." <laughs> So, okay, so what I would like, this is going to be the audience participation portion of our show, so, um, uh, so anyway, uh, we'd like to talk to you a little bit more about, um, about, about Ingress and uh, about how you can play. Okay, I just make sure that was not Dagmar. All right, great. So, audience participation portion. So, I want all of you to pretend that we totally are Dag and Mar, and that it's just, this is, like, who, who the fuck is this guy that just came on stage, and like, what is he trying to do? Dagmar is running late as usual. He's so, at with portals. Yeah, he's so he just texted he me, said he's about 25 minutes away. 25? 25. So, no, this is going to go ago. on his official Two. talk video. He will Wait regret minute, being no, late, no, so I guarantee we'll 25. edit this he's down. in Nashville during rush hour. True. So, no excuse. He should have been here first. Two wheels or four wheels? Mm -hmm. Two wheels or four wheels for right. He's on a bicycle. Right. He, he, uh, you can actually talk to my friend uh, Shaper, uh, also called Shay Erison. He is the leader of the uh, Swedish Unicyclers group. So actually, uh, I would like to let you know that Dagmar is on one wheel this evening. Um, realistically, since Dagmar is not going to be here for about 25 minutes, we'll hopefully start again the official Ingress panel at 5.30. For those of you who would like to embarrass Dagmar for being late, we will continue to do this portion. We'll edit it in the most amusing light, and I would love to have audience participation and question and answer. And they, of course, will answer as Dagmar. Everyone can take a turn being Dagmar if you like and come on. <laughs> I can too. I can handle it. This is what happens if you aren't on time for your Freaknik talk. So does, does anyone have any questions for me right now? What, what is your favorite way to smurf? 
Okay, so I actually was being dead serious about the Ingress thing. So there are, there is a, there's the rebellion or something like that, and then there's the inspired or the whatever. I don't remember what the two. The there's the blue guys and the green guys. And basically, what are they called? Frogs and Spurs. Frogs and Spurs. And what are the real names? Enlightenment and resistance. That's right, enlightenment and resistance. So the enlightenment apparently has had some kind of secret power, and they've always known about this, and they're sort of like the Illuminati. And then the resistance finally knows that they have this power that you get from tapping into the portals, uh, and uh, you're able to get these points for yourself, and you're able to steal capture points. It's like a big game of uh, you know, King of the Hill, capture the flag sort of situation. So yeah, it actually was. I I uh, organized Google. One second, Johnny. I do organize a Google Developer Group Atlanta. Uh, I am a developer, and I do all that other stuff. But uh, one thing that is true is that it was created as a way to mine data for the Google Glass project, which is subsequently being developed. I believe we have a question from uh, uh, Mr. Jonathan Poplin. This is the president of Freeside. Yes. I just wanted to point out that Dagmar is 100% completely, totally, irrationally pro-enlightenment. So I think as Dagmar, y'all should be completely pro-resistant. So the, the resistance, uh, are, they the, are they the blue guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're really for the blue guys. <laughs> Mara, would you like to say anything about the blue guys? As a blue guy yourself. Smirk. Please. Did anybody bring your laptop? Five minutes <laughs> Can somebody get like an old picture of that everyone put his real name on the picture and make an FBI wanted poster and say that somebody dropped it off like 10 minutes ago? My name's Dag. He's stuck. You're doing great, Dag. Thank you. Um, Would you like to ask a question? Oh, edit that part out so it doesn't know it was mine. No, goodbye forever. He's fucking dead to me. <laughs> Do you guys want to talk about functional programming? Yeah, we got one guy. Anyone here into JavaScript development? Anyone here want to know about JavaScript development? I actually give talk conference talks on that. I could tell you about it. Lightning talk. Woohoo! Okay, lightning talk. Uh, I'm going to tell you more about web components because I got nominated to be Google Developer Expert for something called Polymer. Uh, it's uh, pretty neat. Uh, I showed a little bit. Uh, how many of you were in here for the uh, nightmare earlier? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that, was the, that was fucking horrible. That was the worst ever. We didn't have the right adapter. We didn't have any of the stuff. This is really our decompression event for that. So uh, <laughs> we got one. We got one burner in the audience. Uh, so uh, one guy got that. Uh, so yeah. Oh, great. Uh, right. oh, we'll have another Dagmar here. Is this actually a Dagmar? <laughs> no, that's no, a no, no, no. That can be Dagmar too. What is this? This is a life-size cutout of someone. Laughing boy. Laughing boy. So laughing boy. He was supposed to be here with his coordination. Why is, but... why is he crying? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. You're standing too close behind him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically... So, okay, so the internet sucks a lot of dick to write stuff for. That's the, what we say in the industry. Uh, I started doing web development when I was 15. I had a graphics uh, tutorial website that I had no business running. I ran with some other 14 and 15 year olds. And I got really into the idea of making stuff for the internet. And I really got my passion for that. I majored in something totally unrelated. I did, was a bio major and all that stuff, and then I just ended up coming back to it because it was so cool. And I really think that Polymer is one of the best things that's happened to web development, and the reason is that it makes things syntactically easier to read. So basically, instead of having a bunch of nested div elements or sections or sides or whatnot, HTML5 gives you these abilities where you can be semantic and that you can write things uh, with syntactic sugar that say, okay, instead of saying div, you can say, you know, uh, drop down, or you can say uh, shopping cart. And you can totally encapsulate whatever all of this, you know, it could be thousands of lines of code in basically one piece of custom markup. Uh, the reason you're able to do this is because of, has anyone used the language prototype before? Familiar with prototype? Okay, so JavaScript is based off of uh, prototype and scheme. And so uh, there's uh, some features from Prototype that really make it great, but like a prototypal inheritance. So basically you can have, you have a, an element, it is a base element, and then you can extend the properties of that element. So 
Um, you can use this to your advantage to manipulate stuff in the DOM by, say, taking, uh, taking out something like a button and extending it to something called fancy button. Um, then you can add whatever kind of properties or HTML values that you want with inner HTML. So you can register the element and then you, you, know, you put in all of your, uh, what your selector is and all that stuff. So yeah, it's pretty great. Uh, so if you want to get into that, Polymer is kind of like a, like a new look forward for how the internet really should be. We kind of came out with HTML5 and then said, all right, well, this is the tools that we have and that we're you know, doing this stuff in this kind of old PHP sort of way. We're really looking backwards. And philosophy is if you are driving and you're looking in the rear view mirror, you're gonna crash. So basically, it's a fresh start. They have a, the people that are on Polymer or on the W3C consortium uh, board. So they're the ones that are actually approving whatever the new standards are. Uh, so you can, uh, you can put in a pull request for the Polymer project if something sucks, and then they'll replace it and they'll literally make that like whatever the new uh, W3C standard is. So that's a uh, light talk. You want to say anything, Alan? No. You should say some weird stuff. I don't want to. <laughs> You're supposed to call him Mar. 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 I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Deeper. All right. All right. So, do we have any questions? Y'all give a shit about Polymer. Some more of that heavy breathing. You know. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be. Ed I'm gonna spend yeah. weeks editing this together into something that Marvel hate. Mama. More. Mama. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a content generator. My name's Dagmar. Mama. Mama. Do you have any questions for Dagmar? This is, you can actually ask. Where him. are you? <laughs> No. I'm in your body. Yeah, keep moving around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can we have, please have a question from the gentleman with the uh, collared polo shirt? Because I like people that are like me. You know, may notice that he has a lustrous, lustrous beard and a tie-dye polo shirt. It's not even a polo, it's a full button-up. <laughs> oh, you got a one-up. Yeah. <laughs> Changes everything. Yeah. yeah. How, how do you feel the Jarvis virus has changed the game of ingress? <laughs> I think that it hasn't changed the game of Ingress and that it's always been true to the same thing. <laughs> I think that really the Jarvis virus is here the whole time. Okay, I got something for you. I, so do you know? Do you guys know yet that Jar Jar Binks is actually the key villain in all the Star Wars films? Yes. Okay, so is anyone not familiar with this popular fan theory? He was okay, the original so Master 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 the truth. Right. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> Say again. Saving my Star Wars experience till they were all out. I haven't seen one yet. Thank you. We've just spoiled it for you. Spoilers. Spoiler. Star Star Binks. Star Star Binks. Darth Darth Binks. He's the one with the muffins on his head. Yes, he is He's the, the white dress. He is the he is the uh, brother of Darth Vader and the son of Luke Skywalker, and he is the captain of the USS Palpatine. And uh, this all takes place, uh, they fight the Klingons. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Admiral Akbar's boyfriend. Admiral Snackbar's boyfriend. Yep. We can't leave that part out because no, we can. The, the custody case comes in and the entire Senate breaks down. It, it takes a lot of... Did you say Admiral Dagmar's boyfriend? Admiral Dagmar. <laughs> yes, Admiral Dagmar's boyfriend. Admiral Dagmar snacking in a snack bar. That'll work. I can do that. I can do something with that. Do we have it? Uh, some, I will field questions on anything right now. Oh, I actually, great. Uh, do you guys want to learn about improv and how to give good presentations based on absolutely nothing? No. <laughs> he doesn't. There's, step one is never say no. <laughs> yes, and. Yes, and. You always say yes, and. Uh, I, I got to go to Google to do... Um, no, but. No and. No and. No. Use your words. <laughs> Edit more words here. Yes, so that's what you don't do. Uh, but really what you do is you always say yes. You say yes and, and you come into something and you just assume, okay, well, whatever we said that was the universe that we created before, that clearly exists and there are these additional properties to it. Uh, never say no. Oh, would you like to hear a story about putting pickled eggs up a man's asshole? Yes, man. 
Anyone ever, has anyone ever here been to a, a, a Burning Man event before? Anyone ever been to a, a regional burn or Burning Man itself? Uh, so, okay, so there's an event in uh, North Carolina that is called Transformus, and in this last Transformus, a burn is basically, are people familiar with Burning Man, what the basic idea is? So the gifting economy, there's no money, uh, people are pretty much cool the whole time, you all make a, a kind of a social contract that you're kind of, kind of provide for your own self, and that if, you know, if you choose to, you can give gifts anyway. Uh, a gift that a man named Boofer gave all of us is the tale of the pickled egg. And so here's how it goes. So there were some real sick fuckers that were uh, across the way from us. I should say some, some unique individuals. Uh, we're all camping. We're all camping in the woods. This is the middle of the woods. It's a temporary autonomous zone if you're into uh, anarchist principles at all. That's a cool thing. Uh, so basically there's our camp and then there is this other camp called Tasty Pasty who is famous for making uh, sugar covered uh, nipple coverings for both men and women and uh, then they're traditionally eaten off anyway uh, the first night there <laughs> the first night <laughs> Thursday night uh, this is a four-day event uh, there is a man at his first burn who's now called Boofer, that I heard this story so many times, I, I, I didn't have anything to do with this, but I just kept hearing about it, because it's our camp, and then it's their camp, and then it's the port potty, so they tell me about it every time I go by, so I have it memorized. Basically, this guy, they put a pickled egg up his butthole, this is a short version of this story, and then he walked approximately a half a mile to the other side of this event, and then barked like a, barked like a chicken, uh, and then laid the egg, and then <laughs> went into a state of fright, and embarrassment, and then he quickly stored the egg back into his butthole, and then fled quickly back to his original camp, and then he laid the egg yet again. And that's the story of Boofer, and uh, so yeah. So, and, so my name is Dagmar. <laughs> what what drugs, were, what during, drugs were involved? There were no drugs involved. Oh, everyone know that's a In lot. the future, can we have a camera during this type of talk pointed backwards so we can record the crowd walking up to the door and looking in confusion, trying to read what That's this fine. talk is about. <laughs> so many people have walked up with a confused look on their face and looked at the schedule to find out what we were talking about. This is Dagmar shaming. Dude. Hey, Chad Ramey, I'm telling stories about... Dag and Mar, because... Yeah. Come here. Speaking of buttholes. Hey, speaking of buttholes. Hey, so uh, Chad, would you like to give a brief uh, lightning talk on uh, on high powered physics, maybe like fusion reactors? As Dagmar. Okay, so I'll give you a little brief introduction on Chad. This is one of my good friends. Uh, he used to run a hackerspace at Georgia Tech called the Invention Studio. Uh, he uh, went. Did, he did an apprentice, uh, not apprenticeship, an internship at Google this uh, earlier this year. Uh, he's a Georgia Tech student. He majored in computer science. He has a couple of notable claims of fame. Number one being that he designed and built a fusion reactor when he was 17 years old. I'm sorry, like that's like, oh my God, like, are you gonna tell me? Are you gonna tell people about that again, Jonathan? Well, you're gonna hear about that forever. Sorry. Uh, he also makes robots. He does a lot of CNC stuff, and he made a capture point this year for. Oh yeah, that's uh, in the car. For you to bring it in. Yeah, that'll be fine. We're going with the floral theme day, so I'll give you the floor jet, just a lightning talk. We're killing time, just so you know, for a guy named Dagmar that's uh, supposed to be giving an English talk. And he's late. He's way late, so enjoy. Did, did you build the animatronic Dagmar? Uh-uh. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so uh, lightning talk on fusion. Uh, it's pretty cool that it's a lightning talk, and lightning being like a plasma uh, and, and fusion is a good segue into talking about fusion. Uh, the type of fusion that I'm interested in is called IEC fusion, which is an inertial electrostatic confinement fusion, um, and it's uh, shockingly easy to do. Uh, basically, uh, pun, pun intended, uh, with lightning and the fact that you use a lot of high voltage, uh, the entire system is basically just a vacuum chamber. Uh, you suck all the air out, you put in about 50,000 volts, uh, negative potential high voltage, and then you shove some deuterium gas in, and then everything starts getting ionized, and when you have a bunch of positive deuterium ions floating around, they get attracted to this uh, negative potential well that gets created in the center by the high voltage that you're pumping into the chamber. Um, and you get essentially kind of like a, I call it a non-linear particle accelerator because essentially what you're getting is a bunch of rotational paths of ions into and out of the center of the chamber. If you can get enough of those at a high enough energy, you create a plasma which uh, has some fusion happening inside of it. So it's actually hot fusion. Um, 
since you're putting this much energy on a few ions, they get up to a very high temperature into the almost 100 million degree range. Um, so you are like creating a star inside of a, a, a jar is actually what we what we call it. It's pretty it's pretty neat. Um, I did that. Is cool. like, yeah, no fusion is cool. Fusion is really really cool. Um, yeah, fusion is awesome. Um, that's 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 lightning talk on fusion. Do you have anything weird that you like to talk about? Uh, tonight I'm talking about how to make things really fast, but I'm not talking about making really fast things. I'm talking about making things but in a fast manner. Um, because I also like making really fast things, I'm into drifting. Um, so I've had a couple of old BMWs that we like take the engine out of and turbocharge and put it back in. Um, so I could also talk about really fast things. And I've done some work for NASA, so spaceships are also cool. He doesn't remember the accident. So, we can, so we can not be talking about Dagmar because he obviously is not a very fast thing at this point. Neither is Correct. whatever vehicle he's in. Correct. Could you say that again so I can have some edit material to work with? <laughs> if we're thinking about fast things, we're obviously not talking about Dagmar's arrival. Because he and whatever thing he is currently piloting are not fast, obviously. Actually, a BMW. Which but only a 3 fast. Series. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Oh, and uh, Hacking 101 tonight and Python class tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to have a competition. Okay, raise your hand. One, two, three, go. Wait, what? Come to the front. <laughs> you have the floor. <laughs> Woohoo, let's tear up this carpet. My advice would be to talk about weird things or things that you like and then invite someone else to come talk. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, My name is Mardak. <laughs> Hi, Mardak. <laughs> I regret this decision. <laughs> So will that mark. Don't Still make hoping. us regret it. No. Um, okay, random fun things. Gosh. It's Stream of consciousness, that. whatever comes to mind, yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, we'll fix it all in post. <laughs> fix it in post. Fix this in post. When Rock get back over. Oh my gosh. When Rock get back over. What? When Rock get back over. When Rock get back over? Yes. Rock get back go. So so yes. why so why are you with the resistance in Ingress and why do you think the resistance is so important and key to humanity's survival? Because look, the resistance is important, the enlightened are ridiculous and don't know what they're doing with that technology. It's important. And there must be controls over it. That's why we are resisting what's happening. I don't know how you come to this decision to to support whatever this is. It's we resist it. <laughs> it's important for where? Say the word reckless. I need you to say the word reckless. And be really emotional and emphatic about it. Reckless, because I need, I need that particular word for something I'm trying to put together. Well, that's fair, but that is completely reckless. Thank you. Okay. Uh, no, I, I did play some Ingress. I'm actually already over it um, and haven't played in two years. So... <laughs> <laughs> but Cheers. I never played. <laughs> I, I, I'm recovering. <laughs> <laughs> For the same I, amount of time years, we've been so waiting for his arrival. Yeah. Two Ten more minutes, minutes, I think. <laughs> so is this the Ingress Recoverer? <laughs> so is this going to be yeah. the Ingress oh, what? <laughs> could, could you and please and repeat the question? What, what was yeah, the I'm question, like, sir? Fuck yeah, I'm not walking out there. I want to hear if this is the meeting for those recovering from Ingress. Uh, I am now uh, t two years as well. Hi, my name is Hi, I'm Hi, Hi, I'm anonymous. Admitting that you had an ingress problem. <laughs> when you say that, I'll blur out your your eyes. So yeah. how many moves? Yeah. Black stains. Oh no, I can. That, that's easy to fix. I could actually put like a goatee. Okay. This is about as much as this is I can stand. Does anyone else want to come up? Would anyone else like to be Dagmar for a while? Feel free to sing a little song if you like. I have created, you know, we were going to talk about nootropics tomorrow. I have created a drug that cures completely apathy. But it, it doesn't look like it. Why should we care? care? You, you, you don't care. Yeah. What, would you like to say anything as Dagmar? Uh, I, I figure I'd be Dagmar and sleep in. 
Say that again? Yeah. I, I figure I'd be Dagmar and sleep in. Okay. That'll work. We've still got five minutes to go, so <laughs> if anyone else would like to be Dagmar. Oh. <laughs> Sorry I'm so late, guys. Way, I'm Dagmar. Um, I got caught up in a little uh, situation with uh, not Larry and, and, and some others. And, uh, you know, we were talking about fixing a belt and, uh, you know, how it applied, you know, to ingress. And, you know, I, I remember I stopped playing ingress one day when I had to go drive out to some field in the middle of somewhere because now you suddenly couldn't, you know, hack your GPS location. And, you know, there's some guy parked across the street on the other side. That's why I gave up. But I didn't give up tonight. Isn't that right, not Larry? Not only did I warn you that rape would happen if we went to my hotel room, <laughs> you helped bring a man that you found passed out in the atrium of this hotel into my room after I said, sure, we can fix that belt. I've got the screwdriver in my room right next to a giant pile of rape. And you took this gentleman into my room and threw him into bed with my roommate. Is this a narrative? I mean, I don't... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Tillman was only pretending to be unconscious because he heard you talking about rape. I don't uh, understand. Is there an issue? Yes. Yeah, good, because he's not complaining. No, no, but I'm no, I'm sorry, I'm up here, I'm trying to say it's my turn. Now you need to get up here and speak. Your turn to be I raped. Speak your your no, 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 I get sloppy seconds off my room. Your roommate so. didn't make a sound. I don't see any problem. <sighs> yeah. No, I don't care. <laughs> I'll put it to you on the stage. No. See, he doesn't care either. <clears throat> well, all right. No, I'm not. I, I can't get up there. You can't? My, my new medication precludes that. I had to sign a release. You do You do realize there's a uh, FUF me drive mounted right here, right? Yeah. yeah. Everyone's familiar with this wait, device, wait, wait, wait. right? Can, can you take the stand We're and change your here, name right? to not Dagmar? Why change my name? I'm not Larry either. <laughs> but wait, wait, not Larry. Who's on first? Larry! See, you're not Larry too. Larry, you caught Larry. What's the, what's the, what's the name Larry of the right device here. again? Larry. Say that so I can get Larry. you saying that and edit that in. Uh, the F U F me drive? Larry. Yeah, it, it's a beautiful it's thing. It pops in a five and a quarter bay. Yeah, yeah, it is uh, oh, for the transmission of sexual yeah, pleasure yeah, over the internet. 100% serious. What's that? What? 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 What's going on? Larry, everybody. Oh, Finally here. Yeah. AKA Daddy Mars. So we'll have Larry. Gentlemen, yeah. this man is an Nine imposter. Nine years it took us to find Larry. <laughs> Thank you, Dagmar. Yeah. Jag heter Shay och jag kommer från Sverige och det är jättebra att bli här idag med dig. Eftersom du är så snäll och så snygg och så stilig och men, men du förstår jag. Yeah. Ja. Ja. Oh, yeah. Into the microphone. We can't hear you. Hey, you're the shy. Men jag kommer från Sverige och det är jättebra att att resa till USA i Murfreesboro och hålla med alla dig i dag. Ja så? Jag förstår. Du du förstår. Det är jättebra, men du kan också tala svenska, ja? Mhm. Ja. Not my country. <laughs> okay, then here on the team for the best man of show, every song goes a little taller than the other team. And what finds the actor that one? Yeah. What finds the actor? Wait, what's that to do with English? You saw. You speak English. Yeah, you also understand English. Yeah, you saw the English. Thank you. Yeah, and and. Det tror jag är från Ingress i Sverige eftersom den har så jättebra. Jo. Smurfs or Martians? Men jag använder, jag spelar grön eftersom jag vill hända sig. Jo, bara grön. Jo. Okej, okej, den där nästa människor, nästa människor. 
They're doing D and D. Yeah. We should all probably more heavy breathing. I need some audio of everyone chanting Dag Bar, 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 I'd like to teach you all a chant that we do at a little place called Freeside Atlanta. Would you like to be part of this? Yeah. All right. Not a cult. 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 Nobody. Y'all want to be in a cult for real, though. We're not going to protest. We're not going to protest. <laughs> We're not going to protest. <laughs> all right, so. What do we well, want? It's... Not much. When do we want it? <laughs> ah, what do we want? Time Not travel. Much. What do we want? It? Ah. What do we want? Time travel. <laughs> what do we want? It. It's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 5:30 now, and Dagmar has missed his second deadline. I, I assume he's still on the way. I think that we should call Dagmar and put him on speakerphone. Yeah. yeah. I think awesome I've got his idea. phone number. Done that half hour. I think <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't matter. It sir, would, sir, would you, sir, would you like to come up here? No, I don't. We would love a rant on that. I would love a rant. Does anyone have a good rant? You got a good rant in you? Come on, we got some good rants. Who's here got something that they're pissed about? Or perturbed by? Or something to geek out about? Excuse me, sir, do you like stuff? You don't like any stuff? Okay, I understand. Does anyone here That's like something? <laughs> All right, I've got his phone number, so I'm not going to announce it to the room, but if anyone else would like to call him, he may not pick up if I call him. <laughs> yeah, sure. I only <laughs> sure have his number. Yeah. 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 Send him a message and say, answer your FaceTime, and then have someone else FaceTime him. Cross talk. He'll answer if you call. Why does everyone who loves me nag more? <laughs> He's smiling even more now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hello? Agbar? Yeah, come up here. Come up here, yeah. So I turn the volume down to avoid feedback. Um, where is the here? Uh, up here. Monitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whenever he gets here and starts, we can go for the full hour. Uh, you may be able to do your talk when you get here. All right. He's got his phone. Ignore traffic. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Love you too. Sweet. Dagmar. <laughs> I gotta say this Dagmar guy must be awesome because I've been doing conference talks for several years. No one has waited for me for a half hour. <laughs> Has it been the judgment of Dagmar oh, yeah. as much as your talks? <laughs> I would say that Dagmar is a new religion, and I should step down from my personal cult, and that we should have a new cult of Dagmar. I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. I'm, I'll find out. Uh, anyone here familiar with uh, Discordia, the religion? Anti Pope, can we have an anti Pope come here and speak about Discordia, please? I see that you're a card carrying uh, uh, Discordian, which I hate to tell you, uh, I'm excommunicating you from the church of Discordia because you're attempting to organize in Discord. So I'm sorry, you're, you're no longer anti-pope, you're now regular pope. 
Okay. Congratulations, Johnny X, you're Pope. Is that a promotion or a demotion? You decide. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I used to be a card-carrying anti-Pope, but our office went paperless. <laughs> this is the portion of the talk where I stared blankly into the audience. Uh, we always do whale penis. I'd like to hear about whale penis. Do you have something to say about whale penis? Please come up. Oh, you guys aren't familiar with uh, whale penis? Uh, please. <laughs> Remind us your name. Dagmar. Are you Dagmar? Dagmar, you have the floor. Yes. Hey, my name is also Dagmar. Oh, hey. Good to meet you, Dagmar. That's Dagmar. <laughs> Um, so, um, whale penis uh, it is a game we used to play in school, just so you could say whale penis the loudest until the authorities were called. Whale penis. Whale penis. Whale penis. Whale penis. Whale penis. Whale penis. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be fun for editing. Yeah, there's a lot of content in here. I know, definitely. I, I'm kind of hoping that the pickle egg story doesn't make it into the final cut. I'm kind of hoping it does, because I want to make my workmates watch this. Oh, great. <laughs> By the way, my name's Dagmar, and not, not anything else. Uh, he'll kill me if I say that. Um, I think what I will do so we can all get in on the act is when I'll extract the audio from this and put it online as a WAV file, CD quality WAV file, and stick it on Dropbox or someplace so everyone can have access to the raw audio and edit it uh, any way you want and we'll take the best edits and synchronize or poorly synchronize them or not synchronize them at all to the video. And uh, that would be a lot of fun, I think. So look, give us a few days uh, after the convention and I'll put a URL out on the, the mailing list and possibly up on the website, out through the Twitter feed and let everyone know where they can get the audio and start having fun with it. What if it sounds like a dick for? <laughs> What's a dick for? To piss with. Delco, <laughs> <laughs> okay, how are you? Hey, Ladies Dagmar. and gentlemen, we have Dagmar. Oh my God. Dagmar. That's not Dagmar. 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 That's not Larry. Dagmar, please. Oh, you are Dagmar. You are always Dagmar. Okay. Other Dagmar, please come forward. He'll be back. He'll be back. He'll be Dag. Anyone else want to be Dagmar? Anyone like to be Dagmar? I think I've got, I think we've all got more than enough material to work with, but... Anyone thinks of anything else? That's what else? she said. Yeah. <laughs> so, Dagmar, tell us a story about your days as a, a co-host slash DJ at WRVU Nashville with Johnny X. Oh, yeah. Okay. When I was, uh, okay, so whenever I met um, Johnny X was originally on a job site, actually. We were both uh, high-pressure pipe welders, and we had been working together for some time. Uh, my, uh, we both had welding names that... Uh, his, Johnny's uh, welding name, of course, you know, Johnny is his birth name. Uh, his real name was uh, Black Eye Jim, and uh, mine was uh, Sock Full of Dead Batteries Pete. And uh, so we had been working on the high pressure welds for a while, and I, I was working on something, and I had just ended up quitting because I was going to take my uh, structural certification for uh, underwater welding, and the project manager told me, okay, well, you gotta be ambidextrous in order to be a uh, underwater welder. And I said, you know, I, got, I took a lot of offense to that because to me, I thought that he was insulting me and that he was making fun of me because I'd never heard the word ambidextrous before. Um, I, Dagmar, don't know what the word ambidextrous means. Uh, until then, I didn't. And I told him, sir, you're trying, to call me car <laughs> you're trying to call me ambidextrous. I have one thing to say to you. And I only know three big words, carburetor, mayonnaise, and motherfucker. If you're trying to call me ambidextrous, you and I are going to have to work outside. And then after that, I got kicked off the job site. So after that, uh, I got, uh, we, uh, you know, Johnny X, you know, he's always had uh, a pinch on for uh, uh, flip, flipping off authority, basically. And so we kind of got together and decided we wanted to do our own thing for a while. And that's uh, about the time that we started getting into classic hip-hop music. And 
I, Johnny had on the side had been uh, doing a lot of stuff at a, he'd been a wedding DJ for some time. That's actually how he got into, um, how he got into hacking actually is that he was trying to make a way to uh, take WAV files and uh, and really like like do a glitch uh, wave files because you want to take uh, you know classic uh, hip hop tracks uh, like Gangsta Paradise uh, stuff like that and he wanted to sort of tweak them out and I, I didn't really get it and that's fine that's fine that I didn't understand it so I really played second banana to, to Johnny for many years and actually I I really can't spell my own name so it was more of a work of charity. <laughs> My name is not Dagmar, that's just the only utterance that I can make whenever I introduce myself to someone. Uh, so I was just I was just happy to play along. Do you have any more questions? <laughs> so was he like trying to record scratch, but he just couldn't afford the turntable, so he was doing it digitally? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Next question. And? After that, we did that for about 15 years. And uh, Johnny X, after that, he said, you know what, there's no money in this like DJ business. So I'm going to start a hacker conference. And uh, we've been doing this for about 65 years. Uh, so originally, we started out on the uh, uh, HP uh, 202C low frequency oscillator. It's actually the third product made by HP. Um, and so after we worked on the uh, low frequency oscillator, you'll, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in just in a second. Um, uh, that, yeah, it's not a fusion reactor. A low frequency oscillator is a tool for electronics. <laughs> so it, get with a program, please. I don't know where you think you are. Um, so yeah, so we worked with the low frequency oscillator for a while and other HP products, and then we both worked at Bell Labs where we invented the B programming language. Um, <laughs> by the way, my name's Ken Thompson. <laughs> He's uh, Dennis Ritchie. Uh, so we worked on that for a few years. Uh, oh, Alanka, D Dagmar. I'd like to introduce everyone, uh, uh, Dagmar, Alanka Dagmar, please, please come to the stage. <laughs> yes, I put on my Okay, Alanka, I'd like you to, uh, Chad, Chad, I'd like you to come up here as well. Uh, so I'd like you to talk to us about how you invented the capture point together. <laughs> Just tell us about your invention, the capture point, please. So I, I'm, uh, as Dagmar. previously mentioned, I'm, I'm Dagmar, and uh, also there was a there was an issue on the schedule. They got my name wrong at, at, for the talk tomorrow. It says uh, Chad Ramey, but it's actually Dagmar. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a talk on rapid prototyping. I, I mentioned that earlier, and I figured that I should bring something that I made rapidly. Uh, so yesterday. I did this instead of studying, um, and it was much more fun. So what this is, is a pretty box, and on the inside I have like some really simple stuff that I just threw in here basically. Um, a USB battery, a Raspberry Pi, and a Wi-Fi card, and uh, it's essentially hosting its own network called uh, Pirate Box Share Freely. And then it has a 32 gigabyte uh, flash drive plugged in. You can upload and download files from it, and also has a chat client running so you can like chat with people. Um, it's doesn't have nearly enough uh, capability to do <laughs> such <laughs> things. But, uh, <laughs> uh, my naive hope is that it will be used for sharing knowledge and good, but uh, that's definitely not going to happen. I'm, I'm quite sure. Of but I, I put some cool textbooks on here if you want them. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dagmar, it's your turn. Dagmar. Dagmar. Right. Welcome to the uh, the uh, 15th annual Dagmar family reunion. This is our uh, our cousin Alaka Dagmar. She's going to be talking about. The science of Dagmar. <laughs> Hi, y'all. <laughs> Hi, Dagmar. Hi, Dagmar. Um, actually, I'm here to speak about Ingress. Um, so, <laughs> how, how many people here play Ingress? Woo! Okay, okay. How, uh, all right, green, green, blue. Uh oh, we're all sitting on the wrong side, so everybody needs to swap. No, oh, no sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Blue. Um, can I talk about Ingress, or, or should I make them yeah. up? Yes, oh, please. Oh, yeah, oh. We need <laughs> sample material, more sample material. I, I've, I've actually got a whole talk on Ingress. <laughs> so they probably of course have got, you gotten here early. Okay, of the people that play, okay, how many people here do not play Ingress but are interested in playing Ingress? Okay, um, so uh, Ingress location-based game has been around, was created by Neantic Labs. And um, uh, of the people here who have played, how many people here have played for a month, at least? All right, six months? A year? Two years? Three years? 
Okay, all right, I win. Um, <laughs> Yay, Dagmar! 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 There is one guy, his name is Dagmar. All hail Dagmar! Dagmar! All hail Dagmar! And his twin, Dagmar. Praise Dagmar! Dagmar is a woman and she is beautiful. Dagmar! Dagmar is your god! Dagmar! Dagmar! All hail Dagmar! Dagmar! Um, Tell us somebody, Dagmar. In the Antic Labs has separated from Google and they've now created a new game. You guys are going to like this. They have now partnered to make the next version of Pokemon. I'm not making this up. Pokemon Go is going to be a Niantic game and it's going to be location based. So you can use smartphones and you can find your very own Pikachu. I'm not making this up. Yes, question. Is one of the characters in the LA game. Sorry? <laughs> oh my yes. god! He wears his white shirt! Dagmar! 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 There can only be one Dagmar! Dagmar! <laughs> At a time! Only one! Welcome to the 15th annual Dagmar Family Reunion. Dagmar, we'd like to have your Dagmar. Don't be hearing now how much you play the fight. Dagmar. What? Where are the nearest beverages? Dagmar. Dagmar, you were supposed to. Dagmar, do you remember me? Dagmar. Dagmar, Dagmar. Dagmar, do you remember us? Drew, bring in the Dagmar. No, Dagmar. Drew, don't let it No, no. Capture, get a Pokeball. Capture the Dagmar. Use the Dagmar. Okay. The main character in the game who wears a striped shirt is Dagmar, and it's nicknamed Bears Dagmar. <laughs> Does that have a little striped hat? Yeah. Okay. Well, for copyright reasons. Okay. What right. shirt? Sure. Sorry. I don't you know. know. I got to do something else at six, and it's quarter to six. Otherwise, I'd get out my copy. Oh my God, Dag Park. Next <laughs> year, I will have a bunch of slides, and each slide will say. Dagmar. Dagmar. Here we go, Dagmar. Here we go, Dagmar. Here we go, Dagmar. Here we go, Dagmar. Welcome to Dagmar. Welcome to Dagmar Con 19. This is Dagmar. Welcome to Dagmar Anonymous. Dagmar. My name is Dagmar, and I'm a Dagmar. Hello, I'm Dagmar, and I'm addicted to Dagmar. Dagmar. How long have you been addicted to Dagmar? I've been Dagmar since Dagmar. We're going to look this up in. Dagmar and I have been working together as underwater pipe welders for 19 years. <laughs> Dagmar, do you remember me, Dagmar? No. Are you I serious? I have a shirt that says basically that. Are um, you serious, Dagmar? I don't remember. No, who my, name, my, my name okay, is Dagmar. Okay, no, Dagmar, I don't remember who you are. Dagmar doesn't remember me. Where? Dagmar, I remember you, Dagmar. I got your BGA right here. Right here, Dagmar. I got your BGA right here, Dagmar. I mean, this is kind of a joke about me, but I don't know if it's BGA. There were dongles around. I plug you in, Dagmar. Okay. Fumes from underwater pipe welding cause memory loss. That's called drowning. 